Hey everybody, what's going on? We are back to our Eric Berry. Um, we are back to our Eric Berry career. We are in week eight against um, LA, and uh, we are three and four. Um, if you were, if you tuned into the last episode, we were, or we put Eric Berry from safety to cornerback, kind of a change in his career, kind of going off the script of what really happened. So, the reason we did that was because I wanted to get more turnover opportunities with Eric Berry to try to swing the game momentum. So, we're going to play this season game just because we're 3-4 and four and I kind of want to make make us 500. Um, so, we're going to see if we can win this game. I hope we can. Um, but if you've been tuned into the other episodes of... Eric Berry's revamped career. Um, he is my favorite player to ever watch play, which is why I'm playing with him. Um, All eyes are on Cooper Cup, closing in on a thousand say? yards receiving on the year. My brain it's just went blank. And the Titans on Sunday night. But we play. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. Usually we play important games, so like momentum games that could swing the. The uh, season record, like we're three and four, so obviously I want to get to 500. And then we play the playoff games and Super Bowl if we get to the Super Bowl. And I just messed that up. Finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick, and he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. All right, we're gonna bring a blitz. We need Eric Bear to step up, which he is. Where is Eric? Oh, he's right there. He battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with but don't fumble the football. Hit. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play. Yeah, this series has been fun for me down. just to recreate Eric Berry and put him back in the NFL and see what his career could look like differently on a different team. And it's funny how it's not funny. I chose to put him there, but we started his career with the Titans just because he played for University of Tennessee, which is my favorite school. Um, so it's, to keep them in state, it's really cool. There we go. Get them down. Second and four. So the, another key guy who stepped on defense and really has has his overall got his overall boosted through the course of two seasons is Zach Cunningham, number forty-one. He has been all over the place for us. Eric Berry made the tackle. So my goals with Eric Berry in his career is to, at the end of his career, lead the NFL, or break the NFL record for interceptions and yards return for interceptions, and kick return yards and touchdowns and punt return yards and touchdowns. That's my goal. Tackles, uh, it could happen, but that would be a really tough task for a corner. If I kept him at safety, then maybe, but that means that my defense would suck. So. Here's a here's a here's a quick tip for you, or a note I should say. If your favorite team's whoever your favorite team is, and if that team's safeties lead in tackles, that means your defense is not a great defense because that means your running back or whoever's rushing the ball is getting behind the trenches and behind your linebackers. Therefore, your safety doesn't make the tackle. So when the safety leads the team tackles, that's not necessarily a good thing. Now, if they're running a defense that brings the safety in the box a lot, then I can see that making sense. But for the most time, if in a pass-heavy league like the NFL and college football, for that matter, oh, he dropped it. In a pass-heavy league, most of the time your safety is not in the box like they used to be back in the day. So if the safety leads the team in tackles, that means the running game, the kick by Your run, Russian is defense good. is not great. And the Rams have the first points here. It's three nothing. A lot of energy in this building tonight, but the opening drive. Our offense. Oh, our offense did Set not respond. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, we're gonna get a safety. Line. We are gonna get a safety. A Come on. Lead and the football as they start first and ten. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. Get him down, get him down, get him down. We gotta get a safety on this next play. We gotta get a safety. I'm bringing a, uh, I'm gonna bring a blitz off the edge here. Bring two blitzes off the edge. Pop these guys out. Come on, come on, come on. Get back there. 
Bro. Bro, I was so close. Eric Berry got the tackle. Whatever. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an error. I think this next season, after this season's over, I think I'm going to trade. See what I can get for like a couple, maybe one guy on my defense. See if I can get some offensive weapons at receiver because my offense is really stagnant I feel like and they only throw the ball well I mean run the ball well because we have Derrick Henry so I feel like the last lap this prior season or I think the start of this season my team traded for Justin Fields so we have Justin Fields at quarterback he's like a 93 now but I feel like his weapons they're good because I traded up to get some some receivers at weapons but I think the highest overall receiver is like an 89 which is fine it'll do but I feel like we just need more weapons but maybe I'll go after a tight end because I don't think we have a great tight end Make sure you know where he is because he understands. We'll look at the roster after this, see what we situation. what we need to play for. Obviously we're playing for Super Bowl because we won one already. Throwing on first down. Callaway. He's open. Cooper Cup. Cup complete. The numbers a week ago for Cup. Gosh, man, he goes off every game, I swear. Sam, one of those catches found his way into the end zone. He's, he leads the NFL, I swear, almost every year in yards week, though, because and catches. Him and Justin catches, Jefferson so are just different. Him on every snap at a minimum. Like, I thought DeAndre Hopkins was good, which he is. And I thought, like, I mean, not thinking. We know DeAndre Hopkins was good. We know, like, Julio Jones was good. And, but to see guys go for almost over, I think he was, over 2,000 yards receiving, Cooper Cup, needed a wide receiver. Yeah, we're going to look at, I'm going to look at my um, depth chart after this game. I'm pretty sure I have good wide receivers, Mike, but. Ooh, I missed it. <clears throat> we do heavily rely on, on our defense with this Titans to stop people in games. I feel like a lot of drives we don't get points with our offense and I sim the offense in this game because this is focused for an Eric Berry and I don't want to be OP and try to play offense and like I want the CPU to do that that way it's more authentic to me playing defense and trying to use Eric Berry the cool thing about this is we did trade for I don't know if y'all see but we have Joey Bosa we got that in the trade Fumble the ball. What are you doing? So our defense is like OP because they've played well. I've got good points to upgrade players. And we made some key trades to get Joey Bosa on our team. I forgot who we traded for him. Alright, Eric Berry is over here on... As they're down to the 29 yard line. Oh dang, good run. Oh, and fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11. Yeah, this is on so the difficulty is on all Madden and I have I've adjusted the sliders to um help the CPU out more than me. So this is as difficult as I can get it and realistic at the same time as I can get it. So you'll see the CPU break out some big plays because, like, it's, it's tough. I didn't want to just be able to win every game. Get to sack. Thank you. Jeez. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if I'm going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back. All right, Joey, I need you to get back here, bro. Because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot. In the That's out. That's games. out. All right, fourth down, kick a field goal. We've stopped you twice in the red zone. Kick a field goal. Our red zone defense, I believe, is the best in the NFL right now. <clears throat> oh, that's what I need to do. I forgot. I always forget to do this for you guys. Eric Berry should be our kick returner if the CPU didn't change him back. Yeah, he did. So, got to put Eric Berry back there. And we got a user. We always user the kick returns and punt returns. 
that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to remember that's one of our goals that for Eric Bear's career is to lead or to, to break the NFL record for kick returns so and kick return touchdowns, which that means I'll have to pass my guy Cordero Patterson, which is makes me sad, but it's a challenge I got to do. All right. Send this one away. Come on, Eric. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. There we go. There we go. That was a good run. I'll take it. Whatever. Let me sim this. Go back to custom. Defense. There you go, offense. Seven points. I will take that. We're up seven to six now. Talking smack about my offense, and they went and scored a touchdown. Finally. But not with any great consistency. I love that term you just used. Elixir. Good tackle, Eric. Old school. Old school. Cooper Cup is dominant on yards every catch. On your defense as well. All right, if you're kicking field goals, that's great. But your defense has to keep going out there and holding the other team. You're not giving them any cushion to work with, and that gets tougher and tougher as the game goes along. Way to get back there, guys. All right, big third down here. Force a punt so that Eric Berry can get a punt return attempt. We're going to bring a zone blitz here. Y'all know I love my zone blitzes. Eric Berry's on the blitz, too. Let's go. No. It's okay. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands. Even if it's in the Eric Berry game. almost got there. Three catches on that sack. And he does a nice that would be a cool thing to, to break. Would be at, at a corner to break sacks in NFL history. That would be a crazy stat. Crazy goal. It's possible because I turned off a uh, career clock just to see how long a player could go in the league. Which means I'll be dealing with Tom Brady for a long time. To throw on second down, Callaway. Oh, going for Jefferson. Down Yo, he, you're not catching that, bro. And that gonna be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. There is something to a game. All right, nickel trap. Ah, uh, this might work. So. I need to use a safety up here, though. Under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Dang, bro. I thought Zach was going to force the fumble on that hit. That was a big hit. That's why I like Madden. You can make as big a hits as you want and not worry about it because it's a video game. There's so many targeting calls on this game. I mean, what could be targeting calls? Good tackle, Eric. I remember when the hit stick first came out. I was playing Xbox, it was 05 Madden. And dude, that was one of the coolest things they added to a sports game, was just using the stick to just lay the hammer, literally. All right, third down and one. Can we get a stop this time? If not, we know our red zone defense is gonna stop them, so. Ah, nope. Eric, get him, Eric. Gosh, Eric Berry running all the way from the left side of the field at corner to get that tackle. 83 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. So another third down conversion and now Georgia fans have a love-hate relationship with Eric Berry. He messed up Nochon Moreno. Back to throw. Good touchdown. Touchdown Rams. I remember growing up, Tennessee always had Georgia's number for a while. One of my favorite games ever to watch was 05. It was either 05 or 06. We were down 33 to 3 at halftime. Or it was 33 to 10 at halftime, something like that. And we came back and beat Georgia 55 to 33. We didn't allow a single point in the second half. That was one of the greatest football games I've ever watched in my life as a Tennessee fan. Good defense. Bud Dupree.
Yeah, I'll take that. Way to stop that. He could have got a lot more of that. Dang, he already has 89 yards rushing. That is not acceptable. It's only the second quarter. That is not acceptable. I need y'all to figure it out. On third down, Callaway. Interception. Let's go. Who's that, Kendall Fuller? Nope. Christian Fulton. Kendall Fuller. That's somebody else. There we go. I will take that good stop defense. 14 13. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Big hit. He slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 16 yards is the pick up there at a first down for L.A. Eric Berry's on Cooper Cup. It's going to be a good matchup right there. Ooh, I thought he was going to. Cooper Cup had me on the cut, too. Bro. <laughs> he should have thrown to Cooper. That could have been. It wouldn't have been a touchdown. Eric Berry probably would have ran him down, but still. There we go. Jefferson, and they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. The Rams on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This will be third and six. Got out of bounds. Fourth down. Fourth and inches. Good tackle, Eric. Good tackle. We needed that. Punt the ball to Eric Berry, please. And that's going to make it fourth down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then Give you all a little a update, play. too, on you know, the streaming thing play. I got going on. I'm saving up money to buy a... They went for it. Bro. That didn't pay off, buddy. It was a terrible, terrible call. Anyway, what I was saying is I'm saving up money for a actual gaming PC. That way I can run all my <coughs> Streamlabs and Twitch seam seamlessly because what I'm going to do, here's a, here's a trick for you for you use PS5 users to stream. If you use PS Remote Play and Remote Play to your desktop, then you can use Streamlabs via your desktop and stream with Streamlabs instead of from your console. It's a cool trick that allows you to actually use all the benefits and um, things of streaming to its full capacity. But I can't do that with the computer I have now because it's just way too much CPU and bandwidth usage and it pushes the uh, the memory way too high. So I'm going to get a nice gaming PC and then I'm getting a capture card so that we can do some retro gaming. Do PS2 games, Xbox games, Xbox 360 games. Was he in bounds? He gets out of bounds as well. How about what that? a catch. Look at this throwing catch. I didn't know his feet were in. That's crazy. Look at that catch, bro. Oh, he had a foot out, man. Can I challenge that? I cannot. Bro. Bro. He had a foot out. He had a foot out. Look, 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 how do I, uh, how do I breathe without you? I'm just kidding. Um, look at his back left heel. That is out of bounds, folks. That is out of bounds. That is out of bounds, bro. But I can't challenge it. Come on, replay. Y'all need to get that call. Y'all should be y'all should be calling down to the coach right now to throw that flag. Hey coach, he didn't catch that. I need you to throw the challenge flag. Why aren't y'all doing that right now? It's okay. Fight through adversity. Let's go. Let's get it. Nope. Eric Berry brought that pressure. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. 
All right, Joey, I need you to get in the backfield, please. From the gun on third down, Callaway. He'll check this down. Oh my he gosh, he trucked me. He trucked me. They certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game. All right, back 21 to 15 game here. Is good. Or 16. Is it 16? I think it's 16. Yeah. Now it's 20. Oh, my offense Set scored. 28 16. That's big. At the line. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now. Eric Berry on the tackle. Eric Berry, I need you to get a forced fumble or an interception. Substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing that'll lead you into bigger errors. To throw on second down, Callaway. There we go. Good tackle. Here, going down back at the 28. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Finding his big receiver Patrick over the middle. They're tearing my defense up right now. Luckily, my offense is scoring because this is a terrible performance from my defense. Other than that pick six, everything else has been driving down the field. We've had two red zone stops, but still. I feel like they're just getting a lot of yards. They're, they're not getting a lot of points for their yards, which is a good thing. It's still frustrating. And some nifty running here as he'll take but this that's what happens when you're doing all Madden with sliders so that favor the CPU. And it's only going to make me better, so I'd rather get better at the game than be OP at the game. Ah, we got a sack with Eric Berry. Let's go. One sack, six tackles. If you notice, Eric Berry is number 14 because in college he was number 14. In the NFL, he's actually number 29, but... Like I said, this is a revamped version of his career, so I want to make some some changes that I, I like that a little more authentic to who he is being. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. We needed that. All right, we're actually going to sit back in a, in a dollar formation here. He had to keep backing up and backing I love this backing dollar up. drop because you've got four people in the middle zone. Yep, I'll take the underneath all day. Y'all can have that. Yeah, when you're when you got a team in like third and twenty-one or third and twenty or longer, don't worry about those flats. Just drop everybody out in the in the middle zone and in the deep zone, and they can have the underneath. Then you just rely on, rely on tackling after that. And they were able to rally and stop it before you could get to the marker. All right, I want a punt return here. I'm taking that out. I don't even care. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. And right around the 20, he'll head out of bounds. All right, offense. Well done on the return. Derrick Henry has 967 yards in the season. Pretty sure he's led the league in rushing since I've been with the Titans every single year. I think this is our. I'll have to look back. There's either second or third season. Ooh, I don't like this. Yep. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. Yeah, I don't think the Titans are coming back. 31 to 16. Yeah, I do not think they're coming right. They're gonna get a. They're gonna get their yards though. All right, let's run a man. Okay, you going back to that? I'm going back to zone. Operating from the gun, Callaway gets this into the hands of the tight end Higby. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. On third and two, Callaway. Another completion for Cup. And he is going to have a Rams first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven yard gain there on third and two. They'll run on first down with Akers. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Back to throw. Callaway. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Good throw. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking to throw. Callaway. Interception, Eric Berry. Let's go. And they will Flex on him. At the 26 yard line. Add that to interception to your career to totals, buddy. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, Big hit. Oh, Eric Berry has his uh, X Factor activated. Superstar X Factor. Well Alright, he's on Cooper Cup. Down and four after that incompletion on second down. What? That was a push off. He's going to push off. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32 yard line. Complete. Jefferson, the target. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get it. With I'll have 26, 26 seconds, seconds left. You're not coming back. Game. On first down, Callaway. That's out to the flat for Akers. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The ball on the eight still could get a first down technically. Second and seven. Back to throw. Callaway. That's mine. Thank you. Game over. Picked off by Amati Hooker. And the Titans are football here is the ball. There we go. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And it was their Justin Fields had a pretty good game. After the break, they pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about Terry Henry always going off. They did score Receivers. Do you think they thought Keenan they Allen did all right. That See, that's who we traded for, but no, I'm but second half the adjustment whatever they did in the line. Yeah, Eric Berry had eight total tackles, tackle for loss, one sack, one interception. I'll take it. Focus on what they plan to finish this. Let's go look at a roster. We'll sim to the mid-season or after the mid-season. I'm not sure. We play. Oh, they're they're four and four as well. So uh, Justin Fields is our quarterback. Obviously, Derrick Henry. See, our best tight end is eighty-one overall. See, this one. I feel like we just need one. Like, like these guys are good. Don't get me wrong; they're good. But Keenan Allen is twelve years experience. Who knows when he's going to retire? He's 88, which I feel like he's been decreasing in overall. Robert Woods is old, too. I mean, I feel like we need a good young guy. And, oh, man. Like, if Burks can keep going up and develop an X-Factor, that'd be the best-case scenario. Oh, we do have Timothy Wilkins. I forgot we drafted to this guy. Okay, he's 89 overall. So, I mean, we have weapons. What's our offensive line look like? Yeah, see, our offensive line is trash. They're average. That's the problem. Well, 
our linebackers and secondary are like our best when it comes to our defense. I feel like we need to invest in off the line and our defensive line. Other than Simons. So, Simmons. So we need a left end. But what do I have to offer? What am I willing to... Let me see what I can get for Austin Hooper. Let me see what I can get for Austin Hooper. Let me go back. Let me go back to Mayor's roster. Can I not make a trade? What's going on here? Let's advance the week. You know what? Let's just let's just see. Let's just wait till. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send them to playoffs. See what our team does. And we're going to, if we get a playoff game, we'll play the playoff game. If we miss out on playoffs, we'll see what we can do in the offseason. Big risk here, but we'll see. If we can, even if we can get into a wild card game, I'll be fine. Wow, we finished ten and seven, and we got the wild card game. Let's see uh, if any of our players went up in overall. Justin Fields is in ninety seven. He was in ninety six, I believe. Okay, look at that. So Burks went up to a ninety one. Allen went up to a ninety. Okay. I mean, maybe we don't really need. Uh, He's technically going up a little bit as well. Okay, every, I mean, people are making strides to go up and overall, so. Oh, I mean, maybe we're, maybe we're good. Maybe the off season we don't need to do anything. All right, let's play this game. here and this matchup on wild card weekend is brought to you by ea sports it's the titans and the chiefs and it kicks off next on madden nfl 23 ea sports coverage of the nfl playoffs brings us to chile but of course sold out gha field at arrowhead stadium in kansas city Tonight, it's the AFC's turn to take center stage as we've got a wild card matchup on tap between the Tennessee Titans and the Kansas City Chiefs. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports alongside Charles Davis. 
I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. Intensity level will be off the charts. Hold on, there's something. Why is my not my stream is not showing? Hold on.